No, so there's nine of us here on the beach. The other two lads didn't show up. There's a few fish coming in, a few weavers, flat fish, you got a little white in as well. Well folks, welcome back to the channel. Um, we're back in the Wexford Beach, we're fishing a uh, club competition with Rings End in Irish Town. Um, and there's nine of us at the moment, two lads are running late, but they come or not, we don't know. Um, there's nine of us at the moment and two lads running late, so we might have 11, if not we'll, have, we'll fish with the nine of us here. So uh, we're on to Gorman Beach. Yeah, in, in, in Wexford and rain has hit us now so um, but yeah all, all looks good um, and we're about 10 minutes away now from from the first cast so um, we'll get them into the water now soon and we'll see how it goes um, but yeah um, as I said nine, nine was fishing um, at the moment so we well spread out across the beach there the two lads that are missing are on from peg three and five so one of the lads are in the middle there and he's got a long walk to get his fish measured <laughs> if them lads don't come. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's, that's the story. Anyway, there's, 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 at the moment there's nine of us here and we're only ten minutes away from, from first cast. So um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we get a good few fish. Um, struggling lately to get a few decent videos together. Uh, sessions haven't been great, so um, haven't been putting uh, much of it together. Even we went to Kerry last weekend. Fish was very poor. Um, one nice ray, eight pound ray was got, um, and, and that was it. We're on the ray front, and the bass were all on the little schoolies that we got. Um, a few bull huss, um, and, and that was kind of that. That was it. So it was tough going even down there. So, um, but look, hopefully we get a few fish. Um, conditions look good, so hopefully we get a few fish um, after the bit of a blow we had there for a couple of days. So it's all all good now. So. That's it, look, I'm going to let you go, and as usual, I will bring you back if and when we catch any fish, and we'll try and show you some of the lads' fish and stuff like that, so, um, yeah, so that's, that's, that's the plan, so look, I'm going to let you go, and we'll talk to you in a bit. Well, folks, it's half six now, and just have to cast out the first cast there, so, um, two lads didn't arrive, so I don't know if they'll be here or not, they might come late, who knows, um, but yeah, half past was, half six was, was first cast, and, First cast are out there now. Um, so yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Um, we're fishing from half six, six, six thirty to eleven thirty. So that's that's the time. So and I think we're gonna drop fish some of the dropping tide, and then we'll be fishing the, uh, some of the rise then as well. So give you a little look at uh, I suppose the bait we're using. Um, Nice big rag, varying sizes, they're not all big like that, there's that's some nice good rag. Um, some nice sand nail. Nice, nice sand nail there, so that's basically what we're using, sand, oh we have a, what do you call it as well, Joe. And a bit of squid. It's got a bit of a mixture, so we've got everything there. We've got sand nails, squid, um, mackerel, and uh, ragworms. So we've got three frozen baits there um, in the, the the sand nail, squid, and mackerel. Those sand nail nets were only pulled about I don't know uh, ten days ago, maybe maybe twelve, maybe, maybe two weeks ago. Um, so yeah, so they're only pulled quite recently. Those nets are are quite good. 
lovely big sand there. I'm not, they're, they're not even the biggest of them. We have bigger ones than that as well. But um, yeah, so that's that's the bait we're using. And uh, we're going to give that first cast now 10 minutes or so, and then we'll get it in. So look, I'm not going to keep you, um, but I will let you go. And um, as I said, we'll see what happens. Well, folks, I just got the first cast in there. Had a little weaver on it there. So we're off the board and we're off the mark, so at least that's something that the weaver start with. Well, folks, a bit of weather has come in there. As lads is running for cover, trying to get a bit of shelter from the the winds coming from the southwest there, from the west, more westerly now. And they're trying to get a bit of cover from the rain. The so, uh, foam went off there a second ago, and it was really in that cast there. I don't know how much we just saw, but I've had two casts and I've got two fish, two undersized. A weaver and uh, a little white in there in that last cast. So we've got uh, two fish so far, two casts, two fish. Uh, Brendan down there, down in Peg 2, is a couple of fish as well. And that's all I know of that has any fish. Um, so Brendan's down there in Peg 2, you'll just see him throwing back on there. I think that was a flat fish. So yeah, so look at um Weather's come in now, but I'm quite thankful for this old shelter. That's for sure. Hopefully it blows off and the lads that haven't got their shelters with them or didn't have, don't have shelters or whatever. Um, it's not too bad on them. Uh, but yeah, I didn't have a shelter for years. I wouldn't be without one now. Wouldn't be without one now. Definitely not. Worth their weight in gold there. Yeah. Right, well, I'm going to go and I'm going to get that rod in there now. And uh, we'll see. We'll stay with you there. I'll leave it recording there and see if I have anything.
No way, yours is Brendan's place? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Folks, welcome back. We've got a little bass. There you go, little bass. Got three fish now so far on the board, so we've got a little bass there. So we're gonna get him measured. I'm gonna get him back. So I think everybody has a few fish now at the moment. Anyway, I think we're, uh, everybody has a few fish, one or two fish each at least anyway. So I think Brendan has five or six down on peg number two and he's probably winning at the minute. So, um, but yeah, happy days. I'll leave the camera running there on the rod while I go and get this lad measured. I'll be back in a few seconds there and get this lad uh, measured and signed off. Well, that little bass was 26 centimeters, so um, yeah, happy days. Fish worth measuring anyway. You fish have to measure. You're the one who didn't even have to measure them, they were that small. Right, better get uh, this one baited back up now. This other rig, get it baited back up and get it back out there. So, that's a couple of little bass. Tony beside me here had a bass as well. So, there's a few little bass knocking about. I'm gonna let you go and we'll talk to you again in a bit. 
Well, folks, again, I didn't get to show you that reel in there, but I have another little bass there in the bucket, I'll show you. So, uh, another, little, another little bass, another little 26 centimeter bass. So, hopefully, I can pick up, keep pick up a few of those little schoolies. Days. I'll leave it on the rod there while I bait this up. Everything I'm getting so far is all on rag. Haven't picked up anything on sand eel or squid or mackerel. So I'm gonna put three, I'm gonna just uh, three hooks here all but rag. So Maybe some dogs or something moving later on when you start catching them on the, on the sand eels and stuff like that. So he starts catching them on the, on the sand eels or whatever. But at the minute I'm just going to keep using rag because that's what's working. around there see you can see Tony there he's got to get the good bite there so Let's see if he has anything on there yeah, she's starting to get a little bit dust now so I am going to actually what do you call it I am actually going to bait um, one hook with a bit of sand nail See if there are any dogs about. No, Tony must have missed that. Rod's oh, back down. Looks like Tony missed that fish anyway. It's a good boy I saw from here. Didn't get the fish. So 
I'm going with two ragworm and a sand needle bait test I'm going to go, go with this this cast as I said it is starting to get dusk so um, there might be a few dogs knocking about so I'll turn you back around here to my own rod so I'll back in a little bit Well folks, do a little bit of an update. Yeah, we're two and a half hours in now, so uh, two and a half hours left. So um, everybody had a few fish, and it's all it's fairly close. I mean, I think Brian has six fish, um, all bass, um, all schooly bass. Brian has um, so he's six bass up there. Brendan down on peg two has nine fish. Um, I think he's got five undersize and, and five or four that are, are, are over the 18 centimeters. So he's got four counters and five undersize. And I've got three counters and two undersides, so I've got five fish. But I'd say at the moment, um, with Brian's fish all being bass, I'd say they're all counters. So I'd say Brian's been there at the minute. So um, he's got six little school bass there. I'm not sure what size they are, but he's got six bass anyway. Um, so that's it, folks. So it's, uh, it's all fairly close. It's a uh, good little competition. At least everybody, every, I think everybody's had a few fish now at this stage. Um, tides start to turn now and come back in so the next two and a half hours will be all the filling tides so hopefully we can get a few fish um, I need to pick up a few dog fish catch up with them lads that are ahead of me there so hopefully we can get a few dogs yeah, so. so that's it look I'm going to turn you around and I'm going to take that rod in now so I'll turn you around
Eddie was saying Brendan up the end that has six bass. Does he? Yeah. Yeah, Eddie was saying that really. I've seen him running up the down all right, Blake. Yeah, he said, he said they were all bass he's got. Look, he hasn't got any else on his back. Not a bad complaint. You have six bass in your car. <laughs> I didn't get any fish there with it. After measuring that dab there for trapping the peg there to my right hand side, so nice little dab, 25 centimetres. So I'm gonna let you go and I'll bring you back again later. Well, folks, is that another fish? These lads are game changers. Doggy, dog fish, they're game changers in these competitions. Happy days. Dogs, you got an LP glass. That one there. You got another. There you go, folks. Dogfish. I got to get some one there as well. Just a measure his own with him there. So yeah, that's it. Dogs are coming in now, so we'll uh sand deal. Let me see, what do I get him on? Yeah, sand deal. Little sliver of sand deal. So yeah, we're gonna look for dogs now, so it's only gonna be fish baits, so we're gonna start using those. Yeah. 
macro on Sunday now. This is going to start going right now. Three sand eel baits on this. Sorry folks, just leaving you looking at the dark there. Well folks, give you a little update. There's no storage on my phone, so it keeps cutting off, so I only got a little short little clips. Um, dog fish have come on, um, I have told now I have, um, I have 13 fish now, um, 7 dogs, so the dogs have come on and we're getting the dog every cast now so um, I won't be recording much because there's a lot of, you know, it, it, this keeps cutting out on me anyway, it's, it's only have short clips because the memory must be nearly full on it again so, um, you know, so that's what's happening with it, it just keeps cutting out. Um, and I'm going to take that rod in, so I might just turn these around there and let you see. Um, I'll let you see what's happening with that with that cast. Um, I might turn these around. If it lasts, it lasts. If it doesn't, if it cuts out, it cuts out. Um, but it's good competition. There's plenty of fish coming in all along the beach. Um, so whoever catches the most dogs is going to win it now. That's the way it is. So, um, yeah, that, that's it. So plenty, plenty of dogs. So. Look, I'm going to turn you around and I'll see, it might, might record, might not, um, it, might, it might go dead on us. Well folks, it's the day after the competition and uh, you didn't see the last two hours of the competition because the phone kept playing up. It was, uh, I, I did say it there uh, earlier in, in the video. Um, there was no storage left on the phone, it kept cutting out so I hadn't got time to go deleting videos and photos and all that sort of stuff. So I kept cutting, I was only doing short clips and even the last couple of ones there, I didn't get to see them at all. So um, it just kept cutting out. It was just a lack of storage on the phone. Um, so yeah, so end up, uh, in the end I ended up, I, I won the competition. I ended up with uh, around 1100 points or something, just over 1100 points. Um, just under it maybe, so something like that. Around, around 1100 points I had. Um, I ended up, I had 19 dogfish in the last two hours. That was the difference. Whoever, whoever catch the most dogfish was going to win once they came on. It was up to that, it was all very tight. There was everybody had five or six or, you know, seven fish each. It was all very, very close until um, the dogfish come on. And then it comes down to whoever can fish the fastest, I suppose. Um, and in the last two hours, I had um, 19 dogfish. A ray and a little undersized white then. So I had twenty one fish in total um in just over two hours. So the difference. Um I suppose darkness and the dogfish starting to feed um makes in a competition. So for the first just over near, nearly three hours I end I had five fish in the first three hours or so. And in the last two hours, I ended up with uh, 26 fish in total um, and 19 dogfish. It was the big part of, 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 the, of the fish that we got in the end, 19 dogfish. So that was it, folks. Um, apologies that the phone kept cutting out and I didn't get to see the end of it. It would have been too busy. I wouldn't have been recording very much of it anyway because I hadn't got time to do it. So um, simple as that. So but I, I ended up uh, winning the competition and um <laughs> had 21 fish in the last two hours and 10 minutes uh, 21 fish so that's it finished with 26 fish in total um i think the closest to me was 23 22 or 23 fish um but yeah you can see in the photographs there at the start of the video anyway and um, some of the nice fish that were actually caught on the night and um, longest Flatfish was a 41 centimeter ray 
and the longest round was I think it was 95 centimeter hus. So yeah, nice bull hus. Um so yes, yeah, so they were the they were the fishing. So that, that was it folks. Um again, if you watched this far, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you again soon enough on the beach. Um competition again in I suppose I think it's about two weeks two weeks time, yeah. So this was on a Saturday, so it's the following two two weeks from the from the time we fished this competition. So every two weeks we have a competition. So I think our next competition is on the seventh of seventh of September is our next competition. So that's it folks. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you again soon.